In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your website in the scenarios where you were putting some custom code or CSS or a custom function into it and something went wrong and now you're getting that white screen. They call it the white screen of death. I'm going to show you how to, if that's happening to you, how to go in and remove that little bit of code that you put in to revive your website. So right now, I'm logged into a WordPress site, and here's the front end. I'll do a refresh so you can see that the site's working fine. You can actually see I'm even logged into it. So let me go back here to the back end. Now typically when you're adding some custom code, you're usually gonna probably put it in one of two files. You're gonna put it in a file called functions.php or another one that's called styles.css. And let me show you where you would typically be adding those. So here I am and I'm gonna to go to appearance and then the editor. And what I'm going to see is a list of my files here. So you can see I've got that functions file right, oops, right here. And I've got that style.css file here. Now, depending if you're using a child theme or not, you might see, I'm using a child theme. That's why you see only a couple of files. But if you're not using a child theme, you're going to see a ton of files. So this is what it would look like if you weren't using a child theme. Here's the parent theme, and you can see I've got this long list here of files. And they're going to be, you're going to pretty much be editing the same ones, functions.php and style.css. So let me go and jump back into my child theme right here. Now, uh, if you are doing any kind of custom code or whatever, you need to be doing that in a child theme so that it's update safe, so that you can update your parent theme. I have a video on how to create a child theme. So let's go ahead and we're going to break this website by putting in something into the theme functions file. So I'm going to click here where it says theme functions and I'm going to put some code down here that I know is going to probably break my website. Now here's the thing. When you're putting a custom function in or some custom CSS, it's very easy to miss one little character and that's gonna crash your website, unfortunately. So I think for me, I'm gonna go ahead and, well actually let me show you, I've got this other tab and this is a bit of code that I um, just did a video on on how to create a backdoor uh, in access to a WordPress site. So if someone deleted your user account, this will make it so that you can create an account. So I'm going to actually copy this and why don't, why don't I just use this as a matter of fact. So I copied it and I'm going to paste it into here. So this would be the custom code that I'm adding. And let's see if I, you know, maybe I forgot a character and that was the character, so you saw that it was just the semicolon. Um, so if I had some, if I had this formatted wrong, and then I came here and I clicked on update file, um, see I get this error, and this is your white screen of death, or it might be worse, it might be just completely blank. Now, what's nice is this is actually telling me you're not always going to get it uh, so convenient like this, but this is actually telling me right where the problem is. So I need to somehow get to this file, and on this line there's a mistake. So if I just put this custom code in as I did, I would know I just need to somehow get to this file and just uh, undo what I did. It's pretty simple. Uh, so let me show you also the front end of the website. I'm going to do a refresh and you can see the website is down. So right now you're usually like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? And that's what this video is about on what to do. So what you're going to want to do is first log into your web hosting account. Now I'm using InMotion Hosting. It's the web hosting provider that I recommend and I've got an amazing bonus package when you sign up through my website for their service. 
but this is a standard is what's called C panel and your your web hosting control panel is going to look similar to this and it might look different but the options they're all going to pro pretty much be the same and so when you log into your web hosting control panel we just need to find the option that says file manager and for me if I scroll down just a little bit it's right here it says file manager so Go ahead and click on file manager and you first get this little pop up. You can at this point just click on go or OK or whatever. And what happens is a new tab is going to open up and it's going to show you all the different files and folders on your web hosting account. So right here I can see I'm at the home and this is actually going to give me a nice clue of where I need to go. See when I go to uh, right here it says I need to go to slash home slash so show the seven public HTML we'll check this out this is that beginning home show the seven so then I need to click on public HTML I know the remainder of the path I need to click into WP content uh, now I put custom code in a theme so then I need to go into the themes right here and it shows me a list of the themes I have installed on my site now I know I placed it right here in this child theme uh, so you would want to go into the theme that you know you put that custom code in and I can also uh, know the path right here so so far I've gone here 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 themes and then 60 minute website challenge and so I just need to look at my functions file so I'm gonna go back in there I'm gonna double click here and here's those files so I know where the bad code is. It's in this functions.php file. So what you want to do is you want to click on it and then you want to choose this option that says code editor. Now when you click on that, it's going to, uh, well first we get this little pop-up. Just click on edit. Then it's going to pop up in a new tab and you can see the same code that we were just editing. Okay, and this is what I put in right here. Remember, uh, I took this uh, semicolon out right there, and that's what caused the problem. So I can just put the semicolon back, uh, or I can just delete the whole thing that I did. So I'm actually just going to put the semicolon back, oops, like that. And then when you have fixed the mistake or just taken the whole thing out, there's a button on the very top right that says save and when I click that it's going to save my change. So now I can go to the front end of the site and do a refresh and you can see my website comes right back and here's the tab where I was logged into the back end. I'll do a refresh and you can see I'm back in the back end and it takes me right where I was which was in this functions file and I can scroll down and there's where my semicolon is that I just added. So once you've done that, you can just close this tab that you had open. You can click the close button there. And to get out of this file manager, you can just close out that tab. And then you're back here in the control panel. Now you can also use this to, if you say, um, uploaded a plugin and it caused a problem, you can go in there and just manually delete the plugin. There's lots of reasons why you're going to want to know how to do this from time to time in order to just cover your rear end when it comes to fixing a problem yourself and especially when it's urgent like this and your website is completely down. So. That is how you would fix your code errors that you would inadvertently add to your theme. Well, that's it for today's video. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it in the comment section down below. Please also give me a thumbs up on YouTube. That really helps me out. And if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. That also helps me out. Now, I don't want you to ever leave empty handed. And that's why I put together a free video course just for my subscribers called the three steps to WordPress success. Now, if you would like free access to that course, just go ahead and click right here on the right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.